in that hero, but we'll see. Yeah, and honestly, both of these heroes are pretty good response to this Slark pick. The Enigma has the AoE Black Hole as well as Midnight Pulse, Centaur having that AoE stun. And you really want to make sure that you have these AoE disables when you're playing against Slark, just so that you can throw them into the Shadow Dance. Mm -hmm. So Slark might have to be, play a bit more passively um, into these AoE abilities, otherwise he's going to get caught out. Ah, yes, the Disruptor pick coming out from Secret. A smart choice, especially when going up against heroes that have Stampede, excessive movement speed. It's very good against the global strategy as well, and Static Storm, in, in all honesty, is pretty solid. She's very good early on. One, once the BKBs come out from Hellraisers, though, this becomes maybe a bit of an issue, but I think this hero is criminally underused in, in tournaments, so... Well, he is one of those heroes that has issue from playing from behind. And so teams are sometimes a bit more reluctant to pick these kind of heroes. He, he has a tendency to where he'll, he'll either be like 5, 1, and 10, or he'll be, or like 0, 1, 10. Or he'll just start feeding out of control and die 5 or 6 times. Or even, obviously, more than that at some point. Becomes a bit of an issue, but he's so good in the laning phase with Glimpse, with Kinetic Field, and even Thunderstrike, which is a really good yep. nuke, that he's... If you can get off to that fast start, and like you said, he can roll. He can certainly roll, so... Spectre last pickup for Artez. This is another hero that I've yet to see him play, but... It seems like he's got the... He's got the backpack when it comes to heroes that he can just... Pick up and... Go to work with. So, that's what they're gonna have for Hellraisers. The Spectre hmm. will give them even more of a global presence now. A lot of global versus global here. It's the name of the game. So they're going to have the Haunt and the Stampede against the Zeus Ultimate and the Ancient Apparition Ult. So it'll be interesting to see which wins out in the end. I think Spectre's actually a really solid pickup here. Uh, three of these heroes are very solid. Spectre's Haunt, the Ancient Apparition, the Zeus, and the Disruptors. Prepare for battle. It's going to be a pretty tall task, I think, for... I mean, this is another game that I think Secret might not be able to take it into the late game. You've got to be careful. Spectre, once you get to that 40-minute mark, is going to just crush you, regardless of the heroes that you have. Doom will be pretty effective against her, obviously, but... Uh, at that point, you're kind of sketched out, so... This is a very, like you mentioned, a lot of early game potential, I think, for Secret. And a lot of late game from Hellraisers because of the exorcism and because of the Spectre. So the it really well. is going to be interesting. Yeah, and that that as well. I mean, the AoE Black Hole, not to mention Stomp. I mean, BKBs are going to be important, but later on down the road, five second BKBs might not be there. So we'll have it to wait like and see. They are aware of this award that came out from the Doom. No sentries, though. But, and that's the yeah, problem. No you don't sentries. pick up sentries when... Oh, they actually bought sentries. So they knew that a word was placed, so they're actually going to just oh. buy up sentries. See, I was about to say. you As an enigma, you don't necessarily buy sentries first, but... You always save gold for sentries. Right. Because you want the option. Uh, but you don't really want to spend the gold, so... And Goddamn was the one that purchased them. So they'll go counter the ward quickly, and this makes Sims off lane a bit more tough. So we've got for your dire squad, Team Secret... Down 0-1 in this series. Puppy is going to be on your Ancient Apparition. Big Daddy No Tail on the Disruptor picks up the Illusion Room. Top lane, it is going to be Kuroki playing your Slark. Uh, getting away from that uh, Puck roll that he played yeah, in the last game. In the mid lane, it'll be S4 playing your Zeus. And bottom lane, Simba or Fly, your off lane Doom, whichever you prefer to call him. And that'll round out your dire lineup. Yep. And on the Radiant, we're going to have... Gorek playing the Centaur in the off lane. In the mid lane, Afo Ninja on the Death Prophet. Safe laning will be Godam playing the Enigma. Dread on the Venge. And farming up will be Artez's Spectre. So Artez going toe to toe against Simba right now. And uh, they have ways to kill him if the Enigma rotates in, but he should be for the most part okay. Spectre's not the best at getting early kills. Wave of Terror is going to fly, Simba and Dread are going to exchange from right click, so they realize that they don't want to go for an early kill, so they get the Wave of Terror instead of getting the Magic Missile, but uh, I think Simba should be okay at least leeching experience and maybe even getting some CS if he can get close, but... Um, and that's going to be the problem, is because Gork is going to get zoned out pretty effectively. This is a really dedicated tri lane with Pounce, which they're going to use immediately. There's the Chilling Touch. Big Daddy throws up the Kinetic Field, and the stop did go, but it's more than enough to get the kill. In fact, Big Daddy will grab it, so... And already off to a fast start with Disruptor, who, again, I really I like mean, the AA. 
Yeah, if you land this pounce with the chilling touch, it doesn't really matter what the other support is as long as it's range. It's pretty True. much a guaranteed kill. <laughs> it's gonna be a kill. Yeah. So, good start. Fast start, even. And all the yeah. meanwhile, S4 has lit up this mid lane. Eight last hits coming in. He will have um, a bottle coming in. Boots as well. Boots and the bottle already. The Simba Scorched Earth. He might get caught out. Centaur was about to stop. He's in trouble. He's gonna fall. Beats away a kill to uh, Artez there. Who will pick it up from just the Spectral Dagger. That was probably the best time that he could ask for in getting that kill. A little odd from Simba to try to contest that pull. I guess he didn't know where the Enigma was, but... Ends up getting caught out. The Enigma did have that Malefic at level 2, so... Good, nice this... pickup for all Razors. They still have these sentries. They didn't counter this ward. They, they knew it was there, and they didn't counter it. Interesting. Oh. Big Daddy wants this glimpse, and he's not going to find it. He needed level 2 for that to work. So, Gork's just going to walk back up to the high ground, and... Now Big Daddy's going to say, hey, listen, I'm, I'm ready to go. I have glimpse, and Big Daddy's like, oh, God, wait, no. Don't run after me. Gork is kind of just kind of being annoying here, and they're going to glimpse him back in just a second. There he goes. Kinetic Field's going to fly as well. The Chilling Touch, Cold Feet's going to fly. Gork is going to take another spill here. Body Block and the Pounce that Kuroki picks up a kill and an assist in this top lane, already up to 1,000 gold. At the same time, he is going to be losing quite a bit of CS under the tower. About five or six creeps, not getting experience or gold for those, so... So is it worth it then little, for Kuroki? Uh, I mean, it is because he got the kill. If he mm. didn't get the kill, it's actually not worth it, I think. Hmm. He's back right, to farming, though. They are going to smoke up... Who are they going to find? Honestly, this is... It's kind of an odd, you know, dual support roaming combination. They also don't have the glimpse yet. Onto No Tail, so unless they're able to get off the kinetic field, it's going to be a very difficult kill on Afro Ninja. He is going to walk up though, and their smoke is going to pop. The lightning bolt's going to fly, and there's the it's kinetic field. It doesn't off. go. They didn't have the glimpse like you mentioned. It was just Puppy walked forward a bit too much, and the smoke was broken. And after that happened, then then Afro Ninja was able to back away. So a little bit odd to try to make that smoke play. Actually, it's a very low percentage play in my opinion. If if Big Daddy had his glimpse up, I think they probably get that yeah. kill, but. They kind of just went too quickly after the last kill on the I don't top know, lane. Even with Glimpse, it might even be a difficult kill. I think it's close, because he had 10 sick charges as well and full life. Dread and uh, Simba going toe to toe. Interesting. HR's last three wins have featured Goddamn's Enigma. So he's played pretty well. And. A lot of teams starting to value this again. Around TI3, Zai was known for his Enigma. Puppy played it occasionally, but now it seems to be getting back into the, the rotation of heroes that are picked. Because Black Hole's good, and because it can also provide early pressure. And it's not bad at just straight up damage either. Again, shout out to our stats fan mod packs for being here and assisting us. Top lane. It's Correct. definitely nice to have those stats. Gorek yeah. is probably Dead. gonna fall here. Yeah, the pounce is about to come out. It does hit, there's the dark pact as well. And Another kill for Kuroki. Gork is having a rough time. Kuroki is uh, at 2,000 gold. And Probably that's kind of ridiculous. Probably going to go for that Midas as yeah, he he's... hasn't purchased up anything. So. He, he actually he has enough money for it. it. Yep. He's waiting. Oh, the courier's back at base. Or not back at base yet. That's why. So. And Simba doing a pretty decent job in this offlane as far as experience goes at almost level 5 compared to the level 2 of center. But that's sort of the price you pay when you have this jungle enigma. Mm -hmm. And honestly, Gorik doesn't really have anywhere to go. The Enigma is taking up pretty much the entirety of the jungle, so he can't really just go to the jungle and start farming that up. So they're smoking, and S4 this is an is... odd time to smoke. They're they looking have... for a kill on him. They don't have the level six on the Enigma, only a level one Malefice. I'm not sure that this is a good idea. Well, S4 is playing pretty far up here, and they're going to catch him. They, they see him coming in, and S4 has got to back away. Malphus is going to go first. He's going to try to juke to the low ground. There's the stomp, but this is going to be a kill. And he actually, uh, Zeus didn't even have his ult yet. He reacted kind of slowly there. I, if he immediately just runs to the right when the smoke gets popped, I think he's perfectly fine. But He gets caught out. That's actually a really big boon to Gork. That gets him to level 3, a bit of extra gold. Gork has to avoid this cold feet. Big Daddy disconnects again. I like this new feature where once you disconnect, the pause comes out because this has happened a couple of times to No Tail. And 35 if... CS for Kuroki as well with his Midas. That's a really good time, Midas. Five minutes, and he's going to have boots as well. Yep, so he's doing quite well on the Slurk. 
Uh, I doubt we'll see a Shadow Blade build coming out from him like we saw in the previous game. Probably just gonna go for that standard Blink build that we see in most competitive games. I'm surprised it worked so well for Artez. He got a lot of kills, and they they had some tough. They had to buy an early gem because of that. Mm -hmm. And once the early gem was out, it was good. But he transitioned really effectively. Puppy's gonna get caught by F and NJ. He's taking right click. Crypt Swarm would be able to get the kill. He's gonna try to juke it. No, no such luck. And F and NJ gets an easy one. And Big Daddy's gonna go down to the low ground oh, for whatever no. reason. Glimpse comes okay. out, and that saves his life. But he took way too much damage there. I'm not sure why I went down to the low ground there. Taking a little bit of damage. He's still running away from these illusions. Fourth fastest ever on Cirque. It's quite good. 507. I mean, two kills and an assist will do that. Plus 40 CS at 630. So. He could have bought it before that time, too. Oh, he misses the pounce. But there's the Shadow Dance. He's going to kill the Centaur anyways. Kuroki just goes to work. He He's just assassinating him in this lane. This Centaur is having the roughest time ever. Kuroki's skill build, he goes for the 4 into Dark Pact with the 1 into Pounce, and I'm actually a big fan of this build. I actually think it's far superior to the Max Pounce build. You have the 6 second cooldown of Dark Pact, so you can get out of more sticky well, situations. Just, it does so much more damage when you're going on someone in a 1v1 situation, because you're going to get 2 Dark Packs off. It's also... you can't dodge Dark Packs, so it's guaranteed damage. Especially if the pounce hits up as well. Yeah. Kuroki now is going to Midas. You, it helps you with farming. Like, you can push the lane. It's just better, in my opinion. There is uh, an engagement brewing bottom. There is a lot of action that's about to happen. Doom's going to go. It's going to be up onto Artez. They're going to throw up the magic missile onto No-Tail. He's trying to get that glimpse. The kinetic field's going to go first. They realize that they're out of the fight, but there's other heroes in the backside. Big Daddy's like, please leave me alone. There's the Zeus Soul coming in. Glimpse is going to go. That'll be onto the Centaur, but not before they get two kills. Simba is alone. Here comes the Zeus. S4 not able to get the kill. There's the Haunt coming in. Artez is going to come through, use the Spectral Dagger, and the Crypt Storm secures it! And Artez is still in the trees! There's the Lightning Bolt, Artez is low, can he get the kill? Cold Feet's going to fly and proc, and yes, at least they get Artez, but they lose three heroes at a disastrous engagement bottom. Hellraisers again, with some miraculous plays, and really good plays as well. The Haunt coming in, that was so aggressive, but it pays off. I mean, it pays off for his team, maybe not for himself, as he not does well. expend the Haunt. Oh, there are... Oh, they're going to get S4 as well in this bottom lane. FNJ's. Wow, he's now got a couple of kills. Four and oh. He's dominating. Centaur Stomp misses. The Kinetic Field misses. The Glimpse is not available for three. He might use it now oh, and will, but... Up. And he might finally die here. The Cold Feet, he is so fast with the Phase Boots. Though the right click, the Orb of Venom, big stomp coming in from Gorok. He's still low. Another Kinetic Field coming out. This time he will get caught and will fall. And now they're going to turn their attention to Artez, who's got his Spectral Dagger up. He can walk wherever he damn pleases. But the big thing is Afroninja surviving there. I'm not able to pick up that kill on Afroninja, so... No, he's doing really swap. well for himself. Magic Missile, that swap range though. Kinetic Field's going to go. Artez gets sent to our Conqueror's stop, but they still get Simba. No Tail is trying as best as possible. The only good thing for a secret is that they get the top tier one tower and Kroki's getting free farm. And that was honestly just thanks to the Max Dark Pact, because without Max Dark Pact he wouldn't be able to clear out the waves and wouldn't be able to pressure the tower nearly as hard. He's able to just regen up from all that damage taken. Um, so you could just like sit back, shadow dance it out with the passive, but bottom lane's getting pressured as well, the Spectral's gonna go. They might take this tower. There is a glyph up ready to go for secret, but they're not using it yet. The rotation down bottom coming in another TPA as well. S4 has his Zeus ult. They're going to come in. They glimpse back up on the Enigma. He gets doomed up, and he's going to try to fight on Big Daddy No Tail. They might need a Zeus ult here. They're not going to use it yet anyways. The Doom should do enough work to get the kill. Well, it certainly will as the Zeus ult does go. Dread is caught, taking quite a bit of damage. Another TP. Dread's caught out. And that's two heroes dead as they dove the tier one tower trying to get the kill, but the glyph was expended just to make sure that they caught out of position. What, did they have a suicide pact? I'm not sure what Dread was doing. I, don't I know, know that the Enigma got <laughs> glimpsed and then he just ran at them to buy space, but then Benj was like, I'll save you, buddy. Let me just run in with 300 life and die as well. We're gonna get the tower no matter what. I'm gonna save your life. No, no, you're not. Um, Simba now is still trying to get towards the uh, Midas, and he's ways away from it. This is as rough of an off lane as Gork had. I mean, Simba's right there with him with three deaths. Gork has, I think, four? No, five, actually. Yeah. But 
And you would think that Simba would have more farm than he does. Although, I mean, he has the Tranquil Boots, the Gloves of Haste, and 500 gold, so uh, it's not too terrible. He is about five or 600 gold ahead of the Centaur, so... They're just going to keep picking on this Centaur in the off lane. Yeah. He oh, knows? Oh, again. And does they have the Glimpse as well. Wow. Oh, my God. He is... That's some Wait, where did they smoke game Dino? sense. They smoked... I don't think it was here. I honestly think it was here. Was it there? Okay, wrong. then it's warded. So. I'm not sure. Has fallen. Well, regardless, they made their way over there and he couldn't get the kill. They're going to roam back onto Afrininja. Can they get this kill is the question. Colfit's going to fly. This is the drum charge being popped. The Stampede as well, and uh, that's just an easy escape. There's two supports oh, that don't really do much. Probably fall here. Big Daddy might as well. They haunt through onto Puppy. He's going to get... Goddamn's like, hey, what's up? Turns around, Malphys is him right in the face. Close lines, clones lines him down, and Artez gets the kill, so... And a nice kill picked up for the Spectre, so already up to 1500 gold with the Phase Boots, Bracer, and Magic Wand. It'll be interesting. I wonder if he's going to go for the drums or if he's just going to go straight Radiance at this point. Uh, how's his farm looking? He's sitting 1500 gold. He could... I don't know if drums is necessary. I think if you keep farming like the way you are, Radiance early on in this game could devastate Secret. Right, you could so just destroy them. Blink on Kuroki. Ah, uh, so yeah, Gorok's dead. I think Stomp Shadow Dance is available if he wants to catch uh, up with him. I think he might use dead. it. Blink and Pounce is up in one. Yeah, he's uh, he's in some trouble. He doesn't even need to use the Pounce. He can actually pounce away and stay alive. And Dread can't get the kill with the Magic Missile. The like Afo Ninja going to start working on his Yule Scepter. Pretty standard build on the Death Prophet. Although he does have the Drums of Endurance, not as standard, I would say. Sometimes we see it, sometimes we don't. I guess it's just mostly a player preference thing. He likes having that extra bit of movement speed. It's like some bit of tankiness as well, because you it, it builds from a bracer, yeah, but provides some extra attributes, but not that much. You get really a lot more, more tankiness active. just from like a bit booster. Mm -hmm. Regardless, though. I And I, that's why I think Artis can just go for a Radiance. I mean, they already have the drum. I mean, you could buy two if you want. Artis can grab it if he really wants to, but... At this point, I think if he just goes straight Radiance, as long as he doesn't get ganked and he can continue to get farm at the same rate, then he's fine. And he has heroes helping him out. Their TP coming in from Afro Ninja. The Zeus ult's gonna go, so they have vision. They're gonna fight mid. Dre's gonna get caught out. Stampede, goddamn. And they exchange one for two, running at Kuroki, but he just backs away. No black hole been expended yet from goddamn, but he's getting close. It feels like he could just burst at any moment. And he actually, he goes for the Tranquil Boots again, like we saw in the last game. Ops for a Bracer and a Cloak, so maybe getting a little bit of tanky stats doesn't want to get bursted by this magic damage, especially coming out from the Zeus. I mean, they have a lot of magic damage on the side of Secret. Maybe mm -hmm. he's going to go for the Hood first into a pipe, maybe, instead of the Mechanism. I think I, I think if I was playing Enigma this game, I would go for a Mech into pipe, possibly. Mm -hmm. I think House that would be gonna quite go. good. Ice Blast, there it is, the connection, plus the Static Storm, they finally pick up a big kill on F and NJ. It's been some time before that that kill came, but Kuroki now getting involved, and, and the Midas is now done for Simba as well as he spent some time in the jungle, so... Th there's this period of time where Hellraisers were starting to pick up the pace, but... Um, Secret now with two Midases, the pressure's on, although, again, Artez is farming freely, he's got 2,000 gold. If he was gonna buy a drum, he would've bought it already. He's That's probably just saving up for a Radiance at this point. For sure. He is farming up that top lane. And he'll probably have his Radiance if he's unimpeded, maybe at the 20 21 minute mark, so that would be a really good timing for him. And Kuroki's looking to pressure him, though. He's already heading towards the top lane. No ward. Actually, there is the support here. They, they spotted him out going up towards that top lane. And you can see Artez backing away. They know. And Kuroki should know as well. I don't know if his Shadow Dance was off when he was over here, but he's going to try to fight on Artez. He's actually just going to go to the top lane and maybe just steal some of his CS or stop him from doing so. But there's a lot of heroes here. Look at all of the heroes bunched up for Hellraisers. They were ready. And Zeus ult, they know where they are now. There's the glimpse back into the goddamn. Zeus is going to come in. The black hole on Big Daddy No-Tail. There's the glimpse. No, excuse me, the uh, usage of the Haunt. They're going to go and they're going to try to fight on S4. The Thunderstrike will get the kill. Luckily, S4 has the haste. But the Spectral Dagger almost kills him. He stays alive. God. Barely able to survive that one. And actually something I didn't talk about during the draft, but it's really nice coming out from Secret, is that they have this Zeus Disruptor combo, and 
it allows you to get glimpses off when you normally couldn't because you can use the Thunder's, Thunder God's Wrath to get vision on the entire enemy right. team as they're running away, and then you can just glimpse them back. Right, so if they fog you, it's still not an issue at that point. But unfortunately, they only combine up to get one kill there, and they do lose uh, Big Daddy No Tail, but they did expend the Black Hole, so maybe it's not too bad. First major item win rate. Let's see here. What did he get? He got a four staff. Only 46%. I'm sure S4 doesn't know about this, that statistic, uh, but... Choose your own story. Dota edition. <laughs> Turn to page number five for a four staff. Yes, I would very much like that. Your team has... You turn to page five, a Peruvian. Oh, it's no. Like, uh, well, that's a problem. Go back. <laughs> Dread's gonna get pounced on. Dread's in some trouble. Magic Missile's gonna go dark packed. Dread's gonna get caught out, but he TP's away in time. They don't get the kill. No Doom was expended. They already had the level. No, they don't even have the level death. They're gonna try to fight though. Zeus Salt glimps back in. That'll provide the vision they're looking for on Artez. Since our Conqueror stopped, now the ultimate coming out. They're walking into it barely. Artez trying to chase. They can maybe turn on him. Lightning Bolt could go and blows him up. I'm not sure what he was doing there. And now Kuroki comes in and goddamn gets cleaned up with a double kill for Kuroki. And this is turning pretty poorly. For Hellraisers, they don't have Zeus Salt, so the Glimpse is not able to be used. Kinetic Field comes out, doesn't give the vision they're looking for in Gork. The Lightning Bolt, wrong direction. They know that he's over in this direction. Kroki's looking for maybe a Blink, maybe a Pounce. They will spot him out. Yep, there he goes. Dark Pact. Stomp might go now, and it does. Double Edge. There it is. He tried to get the kill. Uh, there's the Haunt coming through. Blink away, though. Surprisingly enough, he's still alive, and these illusions are done. So Artez going down, he was farming so well up until that point, and now his Radiance is going to be delayed a bit. Mm, yeah, probably by a minute or two, and that's honestly a really big deal. Kuroki getting absolutely massive on this Slurk. I mean, he's going to have possibly even a sub-20 minute Scotty on this Slurk. Half an Ninja gets sent back to the well. How unfortunate. And, so god, yeah, he almost has his second ultimate orb. He'll just buy it right now. Uh, really rough game for Hellraiser so far. But, certainly not out of reach. Again, really exorcism level 2, game. but... Yeah, I mean, the Spectre's there, the Death Prophet's there, the Black Hole's there, but... Godem is actually going for a Necro Book on this Enigma, so... Very interesting item choices this game coming up for the Enigma. Stampede, Zeusult, Artez caught again. S4 solo kills him. I'm not even sure. This can't be good, to be perfectly honest, on the Enigma. Maybe when you're winning? Well, he's, he's doomed anyways. And he does deny oh, the tower. Deny. Probably not worth it. Yeah, not worth it, but he does end up getting the deny. And, yeah, like I said, I mean, I can understand getting a book if you're winning, but when you're behind, I mean, this book is not going to be very effective. I mean, they no. can always save a Devourer for the book. Uh, Maybe before the that fight bottom broke out, but... I mean, they were still losing. Yeah, true. A little bit. I mean, I think it, a book on Enigma is one of those, like... It's one of those items that's honestly never that great on the hero, just because of the hero's ability to get into that late game and how well he scales, but... It is an item, I suppose, that is viable if you're snowballing. But not the case in this game. As you can see, 1,190 professional Enigma matches. I think more matches. I bet Atos has been finished on that item way more than Necrobook. That's why we have the stats, man. Yep. Mod packs. We got you, buddy. Let's look it up. Kuroki's gonna jump in. His second ultimate orb has been. He actually has his Scotty. It's done. Yeah, his Scotty's actually more than done. He actually has a thousand gold plus his Scotty. Or not. Maybe not. He buys. No, that was the point booster of S4, excuse me. I thought it was his point booster for whatever. I'm just. I was know. like, he found a 3,000 gold. That was, uh, that 2, was quick. Half an inch gets caught out. Static Storm, the Zeus Salt oh. went. And he, right. they kind of just backed up a little bit too soon there. Regardless, they get the kill. And again, Secret, they, they kind of did this where they did really well in the early game, last game, I think. And then, or maybe that was C9. Regardless, second was... game Hellraisers have gotten run over and then come back. This game, it's not looking so good. 
They're going to pounce on top of Dread. Dread's going to fall. Kuroki gets a monster kill streak in the process of doing so. Stampede's going to try to get Gork out of trouble. Ice Blast is going to sail through. That'll give them vision. Ice Blast connects. Glimpse back out. That was the vision they were looking for. And S4 gets the kill with a lightning bolt. Kuroki's and like, damn, I could have pounced him to death. Top lane, goddamn's getting chased down. Malefus, maybe a Doom? He's trying desperately. Oh no, he's not gonna... Uh, Centaur Conqueror, no, the Malefus came out. The stomp wasn't in range either. He's gonna be able to eat these Necronomicons. Eat Devour that Necro Warrior. It. Eat it. That's what, a, I'm back, he gives it? you the backlash, man. If you die, uh, yeah! Oh wait, it doesn't give you the ability. That's unfortunate. Damn. Oh, it doesn't. No, you can't steal any Necro Book abilities. That'd be OP. That'd be super amazing. Can you imagine if you stole the passive from... The yeah. Oh no! You're tricking me. haunting. S4 is going to have to force the low ground and try to TP out. Artez is going to black hole from the high ground just to secure the S4 kill. Smart play from Goddamn, realizing that was the only option. Simba panicked when he got on the Spectre ult happened. He had his Tranquil Boots on the ground and then he blinks away. So he almost lost his Tranquil Boots. I mean, if there was more heroes there, he actually just would have lost them. Wow, this is aggressive. They have... Big Daddy just walks into death. There are every single hero there for Hellraiser. He just walks casually into all of them and dies. Because Kuroki was looking for a kill, but he's like, uh, my bad, I guess. Oh well. What are you gonna do? So, a little... <clears throat> obviously good for Hellraisers to get those two pickoffs, but... In the end, does it really matter that much? I mean, honestly, feeding the double book to the Doom is about the same as giving him a kill, so... And the thing is, they are still down 10k gold and 10k experience. Simba has a blink now, like you talked about. Yeah. Plus 1800 gold, and although there is the relic for the Spectre, but... It's late game Doom. I mean, I Doom, don't... Dis Doom disables Dispersion. Radiance bottom and the Desolate damage, so... Doom's quite good against Spectre, and he's not even remotely tanky, so... Anytime the Spectre gets Doom, she's probably gonna end up falling, especially if... The Zeus ult comes out. I mean... It would just be too much well, to deal with like at that point. S4 is actually going to go for a... Bloodstone? Bloodstone, it looks like. He only needs a bit booster, so I'm getting pretty close to that item for himself. Yeah, it'll keep him alive. He'll Gives be able to spin nice the lightning stats. bolt. Yeah. They're going to counter this uh, this ward here on the high ground. Nice play from S4. Realized they had vision. Kuroki, that's the thing. Uh, a Slark-Zeus combo... It just sucks. It's like, you know where they have vision. It's really, it, they don't even need to invest any gem at any point in this game. Zeus Salt's gonna go through, the glimpse doesn't connect, so a bit of a miscommunication there. And No Tail was like, I can't get it, S4 dropped the Zeus Salt anyways. Enigma does take the top tier one tower, mind you, as they're pushing in with Thread as well as Gork, but... Gork has two bracers, he has yet to pick up his Blink Dagger. I think that's really been the issue this game, is he's yeah. been killed eight times in I mean, 23 minutes. He goes for these bracers to try to stay alive, but... I mean, if you're gonna die anyways with these bracers, I would say it's not even worth it just because you might as well just go for the blink first. At least then you're more useful in these fights. The blink dagger is so, so necessary on the centaur. Yeah. Without that hero, you're right. Useless is a good way to put it. S4 continues to farm top. The recipe is done for the bloodstone. He actually needs a vit booster and the soul ring. Well, no, he has the soul ring. Okay, so he just needs the vit booster. And then he'll have his bloodstone in about 25 minutes, which he went for a four staff first, which is not bad. Um, there is the smoke from goddamn Affinage and Dread. They're going to look for somebody. Bash ran out on for Slark after his Scotty. Swap in. The Yule Scepter on Simba. Static Storm's going to go. Simba's still alive. Scorch Earth has yet to be popped. Now it's going to go. They doom up on Artez. He did dive rather quickly. Glimpse going on to a hero. Now here comes the Slark. Goddamn, Black Hole is going to fly. Kuroki was not expecting that. The Exorcism, the Silence onto S4. Kuroki is in trouble. He might fall here and will. Big fight for Hellraisers. They're going to take this kill and maybe even head to Roche. I don't know why you wouldn't at this point. S4 is going to get Yules up. Lightning Bolt, there's going to be the uh, Zeus ult as well. Does not get a single kill, and that might be what stops them from taking Roses. They're all so damn low. That does provide the Radiance done. Puppy! He's dead the last right click. It's a team wipe from Secret Hellraisers. They're not dead yet. Despite being down so much, they get 4,551 gold from that exchange. Secret lose 2,000 and 8,000. A 9,000 gold swing as well. My god. It's happening again. And I mean, I talked about how good both the Enigma and the Centaur are against the Slark hero when he's in the Shatter Dance. 
you know, he doesn't really have the safety that he usually has against these heroes. You can just cast the black hole, you can use the hoof stomp, and that fight he was caught inside that black hole and they were just able to kill him after he came out of the Shadow Dance, so... Yeah, the Lightning Bolt was actually not available. He would have cancelled it had he not gotten silenced. So I gotta say, FNJ silence there, pretty critical. It was not only onto him, but it was also onto, I think, the Ancient Apparition as well. I, I'm still not sold on this Necro 3, but... I mean, it does it does allow them to counter up some more, so it gives them a bit of map control without having to buy that gem. It gives him a little bit of split, put, split push potential, but... I think just going for the standard Enigma build would have been better this game. Or maybe even something like a pipe to deal with this magic damage coming out from Secret. They couldn't get the bash off. Gorg actually survives, even though he already had his blink dagger, so it's not the biggest thing if he dies. He would just be feeding gold to Slark. And again, Kuroki's ahead. He's got 15,000 net worth, but I don't know if Hell Hell keep fighting like the way they are. This is not an easy game. And this and... Zeus disruptor combo is starting to lose its effectiveness. I don't think it was a deal I was casting with Gurg. Uh, Alliance versus... Who were they Power playing? Rangers, probably? Yeah, it was Power Rangers, and... They had all these AoE ultimates, and... It's too salt. They destroy after Ninja. Static Storm goes in action, misses on Gorg. They have no glimpse. Now they do. We're gonna bring it back. There's the Haunted from Artez. That actually might have just cost him his life. Four staff into the trees from Simba. Artez is gonna back away into the lane. They're looking for Dread. He probably dies. No, he gets away from the kinetic field. And they're looking for Artez. He actually is going to try to TP out. They went the wrong way. And they will find Dread. They will not find oh, the Radiance. He turned the Radiance off. What a play. Doesn't matter. The Lightning Bolt goes. They do get four kills. So back and forth we go. That was without Kuroki, by the way. And S4 scouted out that situation beautifully with an Invis rune. Otherwise, that fight might go differently for Hellraiser's and in secret. Did Kuroki find a solo kill onto the Death Prophet in the bottom lane? Is that who he killed? Uh, must have been. No, it was the Enigma. I mean, that's the, who we got the to kill on last. Who, who was... Was Death Prophet top? He was top. He died okay. top. Okay, he died top. Okay. He, he died, died immediately to Simba, yeah, yeah, I think. Okay. I missed that. All right, so a good fight for Secret, and these teams are just going back and forth. It's a bit unfortunate, I would say, that S4 didn't have his Bloodstone, as that would have given him three or four charges. He's getting chased down. Ice Blast is going to go. I think Artez is dead. Uh, that was optimistic. That was really optimistic. I mean... And Gork's going to die too. I mean, Zeus does so much damage. You're running into... I, you're going to have the level death on... They need BKBs before they can start Just fighting like that. unfortunate. Yep. And Death Prophet's the only one building towards it now with an Ogre Club and, and what? And Kuroki just constantly split pushing in this bottom lane. God they damn his uh, static I don't storm. Even think, I don't think they dead. can actually fight them with these two heroes. He's actually just going to go in. And he's going to get a double kill. Dread's going to fall. I was looking top as goddamn did fall. Bash Lord, double kill for Kuro, and he's going to take the tower. Double kill on the tower is on the menu for Kuroki. Yep. This adaptation by Secret is really intelligent. You know, they lost that last 5v5, but they say, hey, you know what? We don't even need to force 5v5s. We can put Kuroki in this bottom lane, force you to send heroes towards him. He's the most farmed hero on the map. You have to send... I mean, at this point, at least the Enigma plus the Death Prophet, and you'd probably have to expend both ults to even have a chance of killing him, and I don't even know if he would kill him at he's that point. He's gonna try to go for Artes. He does miss the pounce, and then he's gonna have to back up now, but... He does have the Abyssal. Artes has to be careful. Oh my God. He's, he's, he's so got no follow farmed. What is his and... GPM at? It's 674, 678 actually, GPM for Kuroki at this point. And so I really like what Secret did there. They send four heroes to the top lane, set, keep Kuroki on the bottom lane, split pushing, and... They're able to just get a numbers advantage and kills all over the map. Honestly, Kuroki is running train all over this game at this point. They really, I mean, the rest of the squad has done a nice job taking the, the pressure on the top lane, but Artez has a Radiance and now that's it. He's he's stagnated since the Radiance has been built. And a lot of that is because, of course, Kuroki's just been killing him almost every time. Or some overaggression as well from Hellraisers. They've, they've played a bit too aggressively and from time to time. Honestly, the supports on Secret are extremely farmed. You look at the net worth 6,800 and 6,500 respectively. I mean, killing them inside this haunt probably isn't even going to happen until maybe the Defusal Blade because 
You have 1100 HP on the Ancient Apparition. Sure, only 900 on the Disruptor, but he has both a Force Staff and a Yule Scepter, so two Force Staffs, a Yules, and the Point Booster. They're just too tanky at this point to kill during that haunt. Not to mention Glimpse from Big Daddy as well. Mm, if he gets in a bad situation. They know that there's a ward around here. It's over here on the high ground. They're going to walk into Roche regardless. Groki's like, it's right there, guys. And S4 probably kills it in about two seconds. Yep, there it is. They're going to scout it out. Counter ward indeed. There's the pipe. This is the this is the item that you wanted first coming out from the Enigma. Mm -hmm. And he has it now, but... It might be a bit late for that. Yeah. I mean, I can understand not wanting to go the mechanism when you're playing against this ancient apparition because there's points in time where it's just completely ineffective. But he does go ahead and get that pipe up. It'll be good at negating a lot of the magic damage coming out from the Zeus. I mean, pretty much they all have a small amount of magic damage from all of these heroes. Even the Slurk does some magic damage at this point. Big Daddy is leading the way, and he's going to run right into Goddamn. There's the Necro going in. Zeus Soul's going to fly as well. He does get the pipe off in time, and actually, they kill Disruptor immediately. The Stampede going. They have to run away from the haunt, too. Not the best engagement from Secret. Not the best way to start a fight, but Kroki is coming up. and At the same time, the haunt was used, and they only got the kill onto the Disruptor. So, honestly, not a terrible trade for Secret. The pipe is also going to be down, so I think Secret might actually be able to take a fight. They're going to launch this Ice Blast from long range and it'll probably hit on a 2. Actually, Afa Ninja avoids it, so Dred's the only one. Kuroki jumped in and he bashed up Afa Ninja and then backed away. And Extra System is still going. I think this tier 2 tower is going to go down, it looks like. Secret don't want to fight into this. And the Extra System is too much. As long as Hellraiser is back off immediately, they should be okay, but uh, they really need one. to be careful about... They're going to lose one. Okay. They need to be really careful because the Extra System is about to cool down. Will they lose anyone else? Yeah, they will. Yeah, they're gonna... Goddamn is going to get abyssal bladed and, and just killed with the pounce by Kuroki, so... Also, Centaur is staying too long. He has his blink. He's going to TP out now, but... No glimpse is, uh... No tail is still hoofing it back to that top lane. Uh, another fight that goes, I think, Secret's way despite losing a tier 2 tower. I mean, they lost heroes there that they probably shouldn't have lost. They should have exited as a team. They couldn't get out. They're jumping on Afaninja. There's going to be the Thunderstrike coming in. Glimpse is going to go. Kinetic Field's going to go in a second. Oh, he pops the BKB. And now the Bash comes out from Kuroki. Pounce isn't there. Well, it is, but it's not going to connect as FNNJ does have that BKB. And first charge of the BKB used for pretty much nothing. And this Glimpse is going to be really annoying for him to deal with. It's like No-Tail is... He actually misses these. It doesn't matter. He got the Glimpse anyways. Static Storm goes as well. And... He's played this pretty well, and that's another kill that goes the way. Well, Kuroki doesn't pick it up. It is going to be No-Tail's kill, but they don't seem to mind at this point. It's just pick-off after pick-off after pick-off that's really kind of just keeping Hellraisers either pinned in or not able to really do much. And Secret are going to try to finish this off by going up at 33 minutes and put some pressure in the Tier 3 tower. With the Centaur down for 20 seconds, it is a buyback. And, well, the swap coming out, no doom onto uh, Goddamn, but he's going to get glimpsed back, so the swap doesn't even do much in this situation. Now the Haunt coming in, but there are already three heroes dead. Kuroki's like, I don't care, I just want to kill people. The reality in, that'll be on Kuro. He does Shadow Dance it up. He got silenced, but it was a bit too late. And now back to the high ground if you're secret, I think. Mm. I, maybe not. Oh, Simba. Did you just uh, devour the, uh, he the Necro Warriors? So that he wouldn't take damage. Yeah, but... I think it's fine. Necro Warrior or Necro Archer is dead. Kroki I mean, gets 200 gold. 200 gold and... and they're just chewing through this tier 3 tower. Not dead yet, getting close. It does have buyback protection or backdoor, excuse me. Stomp actually hits him at S4. There's the exorcism. Kuroki still has the Aegis. He pounces up on half an inch. He's going to try to fight. Abyssal not used yet. Kuro's going to leap away. And the exorcism doesn't hit him. He'll regen up for a bit and then he'll go back in. So they're just trying to outlast the exorcism now. S4 continually throwing down lightning bolts and arc lightnings. The creep wave has been cleared. Kuroki is regen enough where he feels comfortable. There's another glyph going in. He still has the edges available, so... Yeah, it, it's available for another still be minutes. confident in just going up and hitting this. TP coming in. That might be Glimpse. No, they don't have no-tell. He's going to get pounced on. God damn, he's going to try to get his black hole off this time. Maybe not. Abyssal? There it goes. On to Kuroki. Oh, Aegis is, is still there, so that BKB, or that rather that black hole used for not much. Glimpse back on the goddamn. They don't want to jump in. There's the Silent Sonic Crow. He dark packs it off. They can't take the Rex yet. 
No Aegis now. He's Yule's up. There's the Kinetic Field. Static Storm misses completely. No Tail in trouble. Ice Blast. But the Zeus Salt does so much work. One down. The buyback from Gork immediately. Now the Necro Unit's doing some, ja some damage to Kuroki. He's going to have to back away. And they're still looking for a fight here for Hellraisers. They're still trying to defend their high ground. And they've done a good job. But Secret have lost only No Tail in these fights. And they've expended Black Hole. They've expended Exorcism. Dread's trying to chase. And I'm surprised that Secret don't just turn around and try to fight this on their own terms. If we look at the net worth, if there is this going to be a haunt, but will this actually get them anything? No, Does they're not going to reality like in. He did reality for S4, but he picked up an Invis rune, so he's like, damn it. <laughs> oh, here comes the Doom. Simba pops his BKB. J still alive. Doom is down for five seconds. Ice Blast's going to sail in, and Dread is in some trouble as well. Two dead. Gork's going to get chased down. Kuroki jumps over, misses the pounce, but he's got Blink in a second anyways. Abyssal Blade's there, but he doesn't really need it. Dark Pack secures the kill. Double kill for Kuroki. Back to work, says Secret. Back down the mid lane, and that's frightening. 26,000 net worth. He's got Kuroki. some farm. I mean, they had to expend so much to kill him in the last fight, and he was diving into all of them. They had to use the black hole, and this should be a set of wrecks. And if we look at the gold graph, nearly 30,000 gold. 30,000 experience. Pretty much a death sentence. It doesn't even matter what heroes you have when you're down this much gold. Yeah, they're going to take this first set of racks. Luckily, they can't take top because of that tier 2 tower. Bottom tower is exposed and. Well, in a fully completed butterfly. Goddamn falls next. Goddamn indeed. And we should have seen the GG coming out pretty soon. Rax is now gone. Secret uh, have accomplished their mission. They'll head bottom for the time being. S4 is going to walk the the short way. Axe has now been completed for Puppy. And back to work under the Tier 3 tower. Some heroes have respawned. FNJ does have his exorcism, so it's their time to fight, I suppose. No haunt, though. Silence is up on a Simba. He'll just blink away immediately. They actually head top. They're not ready to finish this game off yet. S4 uh, has bots. He can be back in in 45 seconds, but he wants to clear the top creep way first. Yep. And honestly, no real reason to force this game. Maybe wait for another Aegis. Sedakin is purchased onto S4 on the Zeus, so looking for even more magic damage. Time to start zapping. Yeah. That's a lot of zaps. Go. Oh yeah, he's uh, he's got more lightning than, than Razor does at this point. As he shows off his result coming through, just wants vision on, on Artez, Dread, and the rest of the Hellraiser squad. Kuroki, like you mentioned, full butterfly. And not only the full butterfly, but 4.4k gold. So, whatever item he wants yeah, next. Yeah, can probably just sell the Midas right yeah, now. Get rid of that Midas, Kuro. 751 GPM on Kuroki. Don't know if that's a record, but he's probably pretty close. It's not over yet, though. That's the thing. His GPM can start to, to diminish here in the next couple of minutes. Smoke up from Hellraisers, and if they don't get something out of this, this might be the last fight we see in this game. And they're going to head over towards Roche, towards the mid lane. They haven't decided where they're going yet. It looks like they will draw this line. they're waiting for the next Aegis, because if Kuroki gets another Aegis, I think there's nearly no chance for Hellraisers to even possibly win a fight. He does go for the Assault Curious, so going to get some more armor, additional physical damage survivability. Did no tail see them? He was up here stuck in the high ground and oh. smoke. Did they see that? Like I think it. they might have saw that smoke on a Kuroki. I think so. Well, Afa Ninja is backing up anyways. No, he actually maybe isn't. Pounce is gonna go. Goodbye, Afa Ninja. You're dead oh, for that 71 damage seconds. Is pretty unreal. Takes just a couple of hits for Slark to go to town. Goddamn, like it doomed. Simba keeps getting fogged, though. He really wants to get the zoom off. Stampede. Ah, Simba. Isn't it Haunt. Thing? Can't blink either now. BKB is going to go. Meanwhile, Force from S4 is taking some damage from Dread. He's actually going to commit suicide. Black Hole goes on to Simba. They're trying to stop this, but the pipe is up. They have no real way to stop it. I don't think they... They actually had a glimpse. He wasn't going to use it, though. Artez cleans up for Puppy. Here comes the stomp. No tail in trouble. Simba's getting caught out now as well. There's the Doom on Gorak. Simba's going to try to draw their attention because guess who's going man. to town bottom? It's Kuroki. Gork might get denied here. There it is. And Kuroki I mean, takes down a set of racks. Four, but they get a Rax. S4 actually is back into the fray. He had plenty of bloodstone charges, so he respawned quickly. It wasn't even a buyback. 
There's no black hole either. So. Abyssal blade coming out onto goddamn. He's dead and Crookie. He really is just doing this all on his own. They don't even need him, or he doesn't need them. Rather, as he just takes on two sets of racks and the tier four towers stay exposed. Mance is gonna go through. They're the only two heroes alive, and they're just taking. They're taking it to the set of. They're taking it yeah, to the base well, of Hellraisers. It's ridiculous. There's three people on the set of Hellraisers alive, but Death Prep are probably not going to want to expend the Exorcism for that. And there's really not any risk in them sitting there like that. At this point, they're really just grasping at straws. Dread's going to come in. There's going to be the Ghost Scepter from Dread just to stay alive. Swap back out. Kroki pops the Shadow Dance though, and he's going to bash Dread with the first hit. Now the Stampede going, and Dread's going to fall. Kroki now trying to fight onto Afeninje. If Afeninje's eyes, I think this is game. Stomp from Gork, he can't get it off. Zeusult, Zap coming in. There's no Lightning Bolt as he does get silenced. There's going to be the Kinetic Field and Static Storm, but there's no follow-up. Now there will be the Glimpse back into Gork. There's the Bash as well, and... More Dagon's purchased up for S4. I see now has Dagon level 3. And Kroki heads into the base. Uh, Ooh, I imagine the, the green we'll active. either see GG pretty soon or the game might just end. Kroki's just untouchable at this point. 32,000 net worth at 41 Eight, minutes. 18, 1, and 7. Another Abyssal on the goddamn. It's going to be 19, 1, and 7. It looks like maybe not. Yule Scepter up in the air. Black Hole. Not on... Uh, not available. Artez is going to push him back. He's got the pipe up now and a blink away. Haunt coming in. The Glimpse going through onto one of those heroes. It was, I think, the Centaur. No, excuse me, not the Centaur. Rather, the Enigma. Artez, Mantas, they're looking to try to fight, but the Kinetic Field keeps them in tow. They don't have Puppy, but he can throw an Ice Blast down if he wanted to. It's actually on cooldown for a period of time. 21 seconds, in fact. Goddamn, still chasing. Another Kinetic Field goes, and now the uh, Axe Scepter is done for Simba. He's looking for his Doom. Who's the target? Shiva's guard's gonna go. He's just gonna try to blink and... Goddamn. BKB coming in. He still can't get the Doom off on anybody. They're too quick. The Stampede goes in. Swap out onto Dread. He's like, nah, I don't really want you. Zap goes in from Zeus. Zeus Salt is still on cooldown for another six seconds. Four staff away from the Exorcism. Ice Blast now sailing in, but... Off the mark. Not gonna catch. They were waiting for it. Silence up on S4. He has no suicide for two minutes or so. Stomp up doesn't connect. There's a kinetic field. Glimpse not going yet. Now it goes. There's the static storm. Gork gonna get caught out. Lightning bolt. That'll secure the kill. And secret continue onward here towards their path to victory. They don't even need puppy. Blink pounce doesn't go from Kuroki. BKB now done for goddamn. They're trying their best to just keep this game in control. But I mean, he does have the BKB black hole, but. He could still get Abyssal and instantly killed, or even doomed. Looks like we're going to There it goes. He was about to get it off, too. He pops up the Midnight Pulse and got him ass actually just back away. There's the Thunder God's Wrath to just do even more damage. And Puppy's actually just pushing in a lane on his own. Tier 2 Tower is going to take a fall. And now they can actually go for this Tier 3 top lane and force out the Mega Creeps. Goddamn falls down. Looks like Simba got the kill. I think that might have just been doomed. Did he die in the well? Yeah, he died in the well. He really did. He really did die to the doom. Fair and balanced spell. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> oh my god, Kinetic Field Kuro jumps up, Bissel Blades Korok gets blown the hell up. Kuroki is now looking for tier 4 towers. He just wants to finish this game off. Another haunt! They only have two heroes alive. They're trying their damnedest to finish this game off, but... Hellraisers are not pushing. They're not giving an inch. Puppy's gonna have to force the high ground. Artez just walks up there with him. He's like, hey, I can Pitch. spectral. Oh my... Are we serious, Kuroki? What did he buy? He's putting a Lincoln's on the chicken, and he drops, keeps swapping it, and gives himself Lincoln's. And then he drops his boots, and then he gives himself Lincoln's again. Well, it's doing some work for him so far, although it's only been happening for a couple of minutes. GPM of 805 on a Kuroki. This one was a, uh, a bit of a stomp. Kinetic Field, Static Storms, Dread getting caught out, taking a lot of damage because of that Ghost Scepter. The Zap from S4 secures the kill. And now the Ancients exposed. Only one hero alive, that is Artez, but a little too late. Hellraisers, they'll split two series. They go one more with both Cloud9 and Team Secret. And a lot of people thought that maybe they wouldn't even get that much, but a really good team. This game was rough. They're going to try to get one victory Black Hole for, I guess, defeat Black Hole. Dagon goes in. They actually abyssal, goddamn. He gets bashed up, and he's like, I can't even get a full duration hole off. Kroki's the one that get the kill. He's looking for Artez. Kroki's just going to man fight. There's the Mantis style going in. Kroki's oh, falling low. He's going to die. 
Kuroki goes down, and they they keep their ancient alive. But oh here comes my. Puppy. No, Kuroki's gonna buy back. He's gonna TP in. They want this range creep. They can't get it. No, that was S4 rather. With the bots coming in. Lightning Bolt going in to zap onto Artez. He'll have to buy back. Goddamn, still trying to run away. Puppy's just right clicking him down, Gork. As well as getting hit up with a lot of spells. Lightning Bolt going into Shiva's guard. Level death securing the kill. Kuroki's working on the base, but they glyph it. Kuroki really wants this kill. There's the Doom onto Artez. And now they will just take this, uh, they will take the ancient down and finish the game off finally. Yep. Uh, much cleaner game coming up from Secret. I think they, you know, picked themselves to have, you know, comparable late game. I think it was pretty even, let's say, if both teams were equally farmed, but Kuroki on the Slurk just.